What's up everybody, I'm Jason and welcome back to the channel. So this is part two of my two part series looking at using FFmpeg and the open source RNN noise AI or deep learning based noise reduction filter. So in the first part, I covered the basics of using this filter, using a single filter model and creating a single output file. In this video, we are going to build on that process to use two noise reduction models to create two output files in parallel. Now, of course, you could just run the command twice, changing the model once for each model you want to use. And while that certainly works on a modern multi-core CPU, it's not going to be nearly as time efficient as doing it in one parallel operation where everything gets done simultaneously. Now, before I go any further, I am going to assume that you have some level of comfort with the command line, file names, paths, and so, what, so forth, things like that, as well as a little bit of familiarity with FFmpeg itself and the ARNN DN noise reduction filter. Now, if you aren't familiar with the filter off, uh, options and configurations, you can check out my previous videos on FFmpeg and this filter. Uh, in fact, this applies to FFmpeg as well. The playlist is linked in the description below. Now, in the first part of this video, we used FFmpeg's simple audio filter system with the minus filter colon A option. However, FFmpeg's simple filters do not support multiple inputs or outputs, and so they're not going to work if we want to process things in parallel and save two files at the same time. This time, instead, we're going to use the minus filter underscore complex command instead and build a filter graph for it. So what is a filter graph? Well, put simply, filter graphs are FFmpeg's way of describing complex filtering actions. They're composed of what FFmpeg calls filter chains, which are just a series of individual filters separated by commas. And of course, those individual filters are things like the ARNNDN noise filter that we used in the previous video, or the A split filter that we will be talking about in this video. So Filters are put together with commas to create filter chains, and then one or more filter chains are put together with semicolons to create a filter graph. Hopefully that makes sense so far. Now, going back to the goal, we want to create two noise-reduced audio files, so we're going to need to use the ARNNDN filter twice, but obviously not sequentially. Both instances need the original noisy audio as an input. So to accomplish this, we need to add another filter to our process, one that splits audio, or A-split, as it's called in FFmpeg. Now, A-split takes at most one parameter, the number of copies you need, which defaults to two, which is actually all we need for this video, so we don't have to worry about it that much. However, if you do need more copies or more outputs, you can specify what you needed by uh, just adding an A-split equals and a number. Now, the question is, how do we hook all of this up? That's A-split, it's pretty easy. The, and that brings us to the second new thing that we have to talk about in this video, which are filter chain link labels. Since a filter graph can have arbitrary complexity, FFmpeg needs a way to link nodes together that are out of sequence. You know, maybe you do something in the first part and then you need to file it in or fil uh, filter it into something down the line. Now, FFmpeg does this by allowing you to specify a label for the inputs and outputs. And these labels are super simple. They are just a piece of text like input or output or A surrounded in square brackets like this. Now, if the label comes before the filter name, then it's used as the input for that filter. And if it comes after the filter, uh, then its output is routed into that label and that is connected to whatever that label is then connected to as an input. Now, one thing to be aware of here, FFmpeg does require that every label is used as either a source for another filter or output through the minus map command to output to a file. If a label is unused somewhere in the filter graph or process, FFmpeg will not run, it doesn't just ignore it, and it will produce an error when that happens. Okay, so now that we know about what we are no now that we know what we need to know to build our two model filter graph. 
First, we're going to start with the A split section. We need to split the audio into two parts and we need them to be named outputs. Now for this demo, I'm going to call these A1 and A2 to keep the typing down and keep things simple. Though you can name these whatever makes sense for you to keep track of. So our command for the A split looks like this. Since this is going to be the start of our filter chain, we don't have to specify anything in front of A split as it will use the audio from our input file automatically. Now we need to set up the two noise reduction filters. Now these follow the same form as I showed in the previous video, only they need link labels at both ends, the start and the beginning, to connect them both to A split and the outputs. So a basic ARNNDN filter command looks like this with the input label. And then we need to add some output labels to the end of that command so that we can save each of these noise reduced audio streams independently. Now for this demo, I'm going to call the outputs 01 and 02 for output one and two. So our individual noise reduction commands look something like this with both sets of labels. Now, finally, we have three sub assemblies, the A split and the two noise reduction models. All we need to do is assemble all of that into the complete filter graph. Now, filter chains are separated in a filter graph by semicolons. So if we just add semicolons after the A split and e the uh, first of the fil noise reduction filters, we end up with something that looks like this. Now, hopefully you can see how this all fits together build in little parts and make build up. Now the final part of this is getting two separate audio files written out to disk. Now to do this, we must make, or we make use of the minus map command. And again, our existing knowledge of the output section. So now instead of what we did last time where we wrote minus codec a colon a PCM underscore S24 LE and then the name of the output file, we will prefix that with minus map 01 in square brackets for the first file and minus map 02 in square brackets for the second file. So the command for our first file should look something like this. And the command for our second file should look something like this. So our final command will look like this. Now take special note here. The filter graph is enclosed in single quotes, the text for it at least. This is necessary for it to work properly, at least on every OS that I've run this on. Now, if we run this, we will see that it spits out to WAV files, which we can in turn open in an audio editor or our NLE of choice to listen to, to see which one we actually want to use in the final production. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this extended part of using FFmpeg for recurrent neural network noise reduction. So if you found this useful, let me know by hitting that like button and sharing it. If this kind of thing seems like it might be your kind of thing, please consider subscribing if you aren't already. Finally, if you'd like to support this channel and future content like this, please consider hitting that thanks button if you can, or buying yourself something you've always wanted from an affiliate link in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.